Wait, Kelsey, can you show me like what the place looks like with your bed in it now? Yeah, hold on. It looks kind of small though. My bed does like take up most of my apartment. <laughs> Guys, we have a little bit of an issue, which I've never run into anything like this before. Um and I'm leaving to Arizona tomorrow and I don't really know what to do. Now, as you can see on my computer here, this is a floor plan of the dimensions of the space that I was given. This is our open area. This is kind of what I'm considering, you know, workable. So I was told that it was 25 feet this way, 15 feet this way. And today I FaceTimed Kelsey and I wanted to see the apartment. She had just moved into it brand new. This is like the first time that I actually got to see it on a FaceTime in person, I guess you could say. Wait, Kelsey, can you show me like what the place looks like with your bed in it now? Yeah, hold on. It looks kind of small though. My bed does like take up most of my apartment. Where did we get our dimensions from? How did we get the dimensions before? Who gave you those? Did you measure yeah. yourself? So she goes back and remeasures everything. Wait, I, I literally just measured it, Drew, and it's only 15 feet. 15? 15. What, what did it say on there? What 25. I am not lying at all. Like it literally said 25. You guys, we are 10 feet off on one of the walls. It's actually 14 feet by 15 feet. It is not 15 feet by 25 feet. And I have lost 10 feet in my plan. It is less than 24 hours until I fly out and I have no idea what I am doing. I don't know what furniture we are using. The furniture is too big for the space. I don't even know if the bed's going to fit. This is gonna be trial and error and Kelsey has boxes and boxes of furniture in her apartment. It all just literally got delivered like an hour ago. We will have to see what is up, but I will catch you guys tomorrow on my way to Tucson. Good morning, everybody from Tucson, Arizona. I am so excited to be here. Actually, funny story, my brother is gonna be going to school here very shortly, which is exciting, so it's kind of cool to see this area. But besides the point, Marie and I got here yesterday. We flew here, got here last night, stayed at our Airbnb, and we are over this morning at the apartment that we are making over for our good friend, Kelsey. Hi, so I'm Kelsey. Just to give some background, me and Marie have been friends for like the longest time. I started going out to visit her in California when she moved to LA. Okay. And there I met Drew. So I live in Tucson, Arizona. I moved out here for graduate school a couple years ago. I'm in a PhD program for neuroscience. I study stroke and dementia. I was inspired to do this work because um, I actually have a disease of my own called muscular dystrophy. I have a service dog, his name is Duke. He's like the love of my life. But yeah, I'm so excited to see what Drew can do with my space for me and Duke. Now when Kelsey was texting us about this apartment space and showing us photos of it, it was such a unique space and I knew I wanted to transform this for her and turn it into something incredible. And I just loved all of the details and like the architectural interest of this space. So to give you guys a little bit of a backstory on this apartment building she lives in, it's actually just been renovated. It is the original VFW building of Tucson, Arizona back from the 1930s. And it has so many of the original finishes such as all of the original brick, has original ceilings, all of the kind of like fixtures and metal and everything in this space is pretty much original other than like, you know, the walls that they put up and the flooring that they added to turn it into a apartment building. And it gives it so much character and a great starting point for this space. But I will say that it is rather small. If I had to guess, I would probably say this is like 300 square feet or so. And keep in mind that Kelsey is on a scooter as well. So everything does need to be accessible from her scooter. It needs to have a nice flow. And overall, we want it to look pretty in the end. So we are about to get started. It is Marie, I, and Kelsey service dog dupe. Of course, I'm going to share him with you. He's going to be here with us all of the days we're making this over. And lastly, before jumping in, this is a full on surprise, you guys. Kelsey's not stepping back foot in this apartment until the end. She's staying at the Airbnb with us, which is very exciting, but let's get started. I am ready to do so. I'm going 
going to go ahead and build the new bed that we got. This bed back here is in a box. Well, you can't really see it. It's right there. This is a canopy style bed, so it kind of has like a frame around it. Oh my god. Oh my god. As you can see, Duke's very excited for the bed as well. Um, but basically, this is a canopy style bed, and I thought that it would be really nice to fill in the space because the ceilings are super tall. So we're gonna build that, put it together. I got it on Amazon, you guys, for like 200 bucks. I'll link it below if it is still available. We can pop the new mattress on from Helix, which is so exciting because today's video is sponsored by Helix. We're gonna either put it on this wall, this wall, not too sure yet, um, but let's get to building that. The bed has been constructed and it totally fits the vibe. I opted for black metal just because I knew there was a ton of black metal happening in the space. So kind of coordinated those two. Now, not too sure if the bed's going to be going on this wall here or in between right here. We do have a large sofa from Article, which I'm hoping and praying will fit somewhere. So it's kind of gonna be trial and error with the orientation. We still have like the old bed in here. Gonna move this out in a little bit. Now, Helix was so, so kind to send over Kelsey a brand new mattress, you guys. And she actually went ahead and took the quick a few weeks back it's Kelsey here I'm gonna go ahead and pick out my mattress using helix's sleep quiz I'm super excited okay my dog joined me so <laughs> we're gonna go through this sleep quiz together so I started taking the sleep quiz and I'm on the position section now there's a position feel relief and then your match and my match is Oh, Twilight Lux. And they shipped her over a new mattress, which I'm gonna go ahead and unbox. We're gonna start letting that air out in the space. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about her mattress. As you guys can see here, the mattress is shipped directly to your doorstep, which is so convenient and nice. Helix is actually a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses to fit your unique needs and preferences based off of your body type and sleep style. So you go ahead and take that sleep quiz, which Kelsey just took, and it then will go ahead and pair you with a mattress that it thinks is going to be perfect for your personal, you know, body type and sleep style. And I can't really touch on Kelsey's mattress too much because it's pretty new for her but I absolutely love mine I've had mine for about eight months you guys and it is the most perfect mattress I can ever opt for but if it does make you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried helix actually offers a hundred night sleep trial so that you can get more than three months to try it out and if you don't like it they'll come and pick it up for a full refund you don't even have to put it in the box which is amazing so if you're looking for a new bed check out helix you can do so using my link which is helixsleep.com slash drew scott to get up to two hundred dollars off your helix mattress Bed and mattress, as you guys can see, is in the space, which is amazing. This is our largest piece for the space, so I want to go ahead and bust out our second largest piece, which is actually a couch from Article. Article was so kind, they actually sent over a couple pieces for this makeover, including a sofa, a floor lamp, a media console. Let's break out the sofa. I want to orient it a couple of ways in this apartment to kind of get the floor plan in the direction I want to go in first. orientation number one. Um, so this is kind of like the original idea when I had to rework the floor plan. I thought the bed could go on the white wall here, couch could go on this wall here, and this actually does work well because the scooter can easily access through this area. We have access on the other side of the bed as well and access into the nook area. But the second kind of floor plan idea I have is just to essentially swap these two. So put the couch on this wall, bed on this wall because TV is now gonna be going directly in front of me. So I'm gonna reorient these really quickly and we can see what the second layout looks like. Second orientation here in the frame. It looks so cute. I love the bed over in this area. Duke likes it too, I think. Now, I really, really like the way that this looks, but in person, it does make the apartment seem smaller. So I think we're going to orient it in option number one. I feel like that's just going to give us the best space here, um, but I'm going to think about it for a couple more minutes. 
All right, we're opting for orientation number one. I really like the other way the other one looked inside of the frame of the camera, but it did make the space feel smaller, so I think having a more open space is definitely better. And then also, Kelsey has a cute keyboard here, so we thought it would be fun to maybe put it under this window as like a little, you know, vibe. We could put the nightstand there, maybe a little side table for the couch or something, but there's still access to, you know, go in this area wide enough for her wheelchair. So I think I mentioned to you guys how I ordered a ton of furniture for this space. Originally, the couch and media console were supposed to be a complete different area that kind of made up its own living room. We were going to section it off, but because we lost the 10 feet, essentially I didn't think that the media console was going to fit. However, it definitely seems like there is possibility to put the console here, which could be great. The closet door, as you can see, starts around here. Console could go right where Duke is currently sleeping. <laughs> I am actually pretty shocked that the sideboard fits and you guys it fits with like a good amount of space too like as you can see when you walk in to the apartment space there's Duke there's the couch in front of you the sideboard is here to the right is the bed over there but then to the left of course we're gonna mount the TV I'm not too sure if I want to do a center mount or I might mount it a little bit more on the right side so it's more centered with the bed and then do some like larger decor over on the left side there I do want to do some sort of rug here now Kelsey does have a rug in her entryway I'm gonna test this out for sizing just to see if it looks good over there and then we can maybe get a different one that complements the furniture pieces. The rug situation is a little challenging just because we do have furniture pieces so close together. This is the rug Kelsey already had. I don't believe it's the ideal style for the space. The size of it doesn't look awful just because this is such a small studio, you know? And to be honest with you guys, like, we've done a lot and we've been here for two hours. How? Like, Built a bed, unpacked all the furniture, placed it, got rid of all the trash, old beds out. The nook still has quite a bit of work that needs to be done there. Kelsey's apartment. We are gonna go shopping a little bit just to break up the day. We actually conquered way more than I even thought we were going to. We have a list of random items to gather. I think we're gonna head to Target and maybe some other stores too, so let's go. I am melting in this car. It has to be 200 degrees. It's probably 900. Minimum of 200. That's Arizona. Hard part of the space is kind of the rug, as you guys saw. Um, a five by seven rug did fit under the couch. I wish I was able to find something a bit longer than five by seven. This one here is five by seven, and it's kind of cute. It has these warm tones in it, which will kind of pull from the brick and like the creams and the other spaces. They do have this black one, which I think is really graphic and bold, but I think it might be overwhelming. I'm not too sure. We like this one too. It's like nice and it's very thick and like wool, but it has like some coloring through it. I don't know, there's options, you guys. Look at our successful shopping carts. Uh, mine's going by itself. Got so much good, really cute stuff. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. We're going to quickly head to Home Goods as well to see if we can find any furniture pieces. Still need a coffee table and some nightstands, so we're gonna pop over there. I made my way to Home Goods. I'm trying to find some larger furniture pieces. Basically, all that's left to find is two nightstands and a coffee table. Marie says she found some nice running a look. Oh my god, we're running through this floor. <laughs> so we have some options in here. Now, I need a pair of nightstands, of course. They have this set here. These are $79.99 each, and they are really cute. I don't know if the gray is the right color for these. Um, I think I'd probably repaint them, but they are just painted. There's, like, no finish, so I can go right over the top, which is nice. Like, it's already kind of rough. There's tons of little tables, too, but I think I want something with, like, a little bit of storage element and something you could put something on the bottom of because the space is on the smaller side. These are also really cute, but I don't think it's the right vibe. We have, like, some simple wooden situations like this which are just kind of like wooden shelves. Day 
into at Kelsey's apartment. Yesterday I talked about how I want to do an archway around the bed and the reasoning for this is, is because there's a ton of very masculine details in this space. So we have all the wood up here, you know, we have a ton of black metal, very industrial vibes. And I know Kelsey is very much like girly aesthetic. Um, so I think it would be really cute to add an archway in here just to give more of a feminine touch. I'm gonna do a very tone on tone with kind of a cream on this white wall back here. So I'm gonna tape those up, get an idea for what the color looks like in the space and then select one. And at the same time, we also just need to go ahead and paint the nightstands that I got yesterday. These I picked up at Home Goods. We're gonna paint them black and then redo the hardware to be like a brass so they almost look a little bit antique. We have a lot of stuff to do, um, but I'm really excited about this archway. So let's get these on the wall. left and right lines of my archway, I went ahead and used a laser level along with some frog tape just to tape about four inches from my headboard. I did that on the left side and then I also repeated the same steps over on the right side. Left side and right side have been taped off. I essentially just used a laser level to laser on the wall and then I taped right along the line there. I'm doing it pretty close to the bed as you could see because I want the nightstands to still have their own moment on the side and this is just more so a continuation of the canopy bed. And so now it's time to create the archway on top here which I believe I'm going to do by creating a DIY compass. I've seen a ton of people do this where you kind of just put a nail in the center, use some string and then kind of use it as a compass to trace the outline of it. Not not too sure how this is going to work, so we are going to definitely trial and error this. archway has been drawn. I hope that you guys can see the pencil line on there. It looks great. I also set back up the laser level just to make sure everything looked pretty symmetrical. And as you can see, we have just like maybe two inches there. And then over on the other side, we have about the same two inches, which is great. So this looks really, really great. There's a handprint up there, but we're gonna be painting it. Our paint swatches are on the wall. But while I'm still staring at these, we're gonna go ahead and start painting the nightstands from Home Goods. So this right here is the paint I got at Home Depot. This is chalk decorative paint, and it's really cool because it's actually already like basically meant for furniture, and I got it in classic noir. I figured this was just a lot easier than having to get a primer and paint and do multiple coats. And let's start giving a coat to the nightstands. Nightstands have their first coat of paint on, gonna let that dry, and I already went ahead and selected the color, you guys. So from here, I'm actually gonna opt for this one right here. It is the one of the lightest shades, but I also like how it's really, really neutral. It has some gray and brown in it, as these ones have kind of like some more brown and peachy tones. So I'm gonna opt for Spanish Sands, which is going to be painted inside of our archway there. And I think that's gonna be a nice, kind of subtle tone on tone look with the white wall in the background. I'm gonna head out to Home Depot, pick up the paint, come back here and we could paint it on the wall. I'm kind of scared to freehand the archway, but it's also gonna be fun. Yes, yes, I know you guys. An archway can definitely be a little bit intimidating, especially when it's a curved line that you can't really tape off and you have to freehand it. But honestly, if you get an angled brush and just go really, really slowly and precisely kind of make sure that you don't have too much paint on your brush. And once you have your initial line done, you are good to go. Everything else is super simple from there. I filled it in with a larger brush, then filled it in with a roller to complete my archway. The archway is complete, you guys, and this took me probably 45 minutes to create. Super quick, but I love it. I think it's perfect. It's a great little grounding area for the bed section. Marie is over here uh, doing the second coat of paint on the paint stands. Paint stands? Night stands. I actually found this when I was checking out for the other paint for the arch, and it is a chalk finish paint in black. But if you guys can see, the old color that we used, which was supposed to be black, is more of like a bluish tone dark charcoal. So um, I started painting the second coat with the new black color. So much better. And this is also cheaper. So just an idea. Um, try to look for this. Deco Art American Decor Chalky Finish. Oh my gosh. I love that. It's like a backing for the bed. I don't know. It just adds a lovely vibe. 
so cute. We have done a lot today. The archway is painted behind the bed. The bedding is all on there. Not 100,000% sure if this is the proper throw blanket or the proper styling of the bed, but I wanted to get an idea for it at the current timing. And then underneath the window, we actually have Kelsey's keyboard. And this is a chair that she's had forever that she requested to keep in the apartment. It was her one item she wanted to keep. So we're keeping the chair, placing it here. And of course, if it just like doesn't work here for her, um, it could be moved around. Um, everything's coming along great. I think we're going to head out to do a little bit more shopping, need some lamps for the side table. Tables. We also still need a coffee table, which I kind of want to find at a thrift store, but that's where we're currently at. I'm so excited for you to see it, and I hope that you love it. And you can open your eyes in three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god! 